microfibers in them so you don't have to use soap or face wash or body wash or anything with these and they will clean me. The only way I know that is because they take my make my makeup right off every time I use them. So I don't use any mix wipes, any face wash ever. I don't I can't remember the last time I used it so I mean years I can see. So if you're wondering What's your skincare routine? Um, I only use Rolex Club. So, I use that. It really helps you your skin, the chemicals, whatever. Okay. Next, I use this moisturizer. And, yeah. I don't know why. My mom just started using it and then I liked it. So it's not too thick or too thin. It's like perfect. Um, consistency. My face isn't dry, my face not, isn't oily, so I just have normal skin. Um, that's why I love this stuff because it's just normal moisturizing. And that's what I do to get ready. So today is my personal check-in day. Um, since I got back from YWAM, I have been really focusing on my health and my fitness. I do CrossFit normally five to six days a week. But my gym is closed right now, so I'm not doing that. But I am doing it at home the best I can. Um, I'm really just eating healthy. Um, so I usually weigh myself and just take progress pictures um, is usually what I do just to kind of motivate myself to know that things are happening, um, that what I'm doing is working. That's why I like to do progress days. So last week I weighed in at 173 and whenever I got home I weighed in at about 177. So I've only lost about 4 pounds, which is fine, which honestly could have just been water weight, I don't really know, honestly. I've never weighed this much in my life, but I also have never been this in shape in my life. So, kind of equals out, so I don't really care. I'm going to weigh myself. Whoops. Apparently I forgot how to work it. Let's see. 
what I am today. 173, exactly. This is the first day I got home, and then this is today, exactly three weeks. If you're wondering about the Christmas sweater I was wearing this morning when I woke up, it's my favorite sweater. Um, I will wear that for the rest of my life. Okay, I just made breakfast. It's made out of vegetables, don't worry. So this is what it looks like. Heat it up. Yum. And then I also have this chia seed pudding that I made a few days ago. So good, dairy free. Um, has a little bit of honey in it, but I usually put fruit just for my sweetener for anything, just cause it's still sugar, but it's healthier. It's probably all I'm gonna eat for breakfast now. And then I am going to watch the Brave Love Bible Study with Shannon Castile, and I'm so excited because she is amazing. Um, yeah, so if you guys aren't doing anything on Wednesdays, Wednesdays at 12, Join the Brave Love uh, Bible study on Zoom. It's gonna be amazing. I also forgot to say I am drinking coffee, black coffee in my Starbucks mug. This is a Vera Wang inspired mug from Starbucks. I got it in the Philippines, I'm obsessed with it. This is my Sonic cup, has water. Nothing really significant about the cup, well, about Sonic. I just really like that their cups are styrofoam and I can drink water in there. But I left from the night before because it didn't taste bad because it's in styrofoam and I love that and it's 44 ounces So I know that when I drink one of those I am halfway done with my water intake for the day So yeah, about to start my Brave Love Bible study I am putting a heating pad on my shoulder because I'm pretty sure I have a pinched nerve It's actually getting a lot better. So all I've been doing is putting heat on it Which was recommended by my coach so my coach knows what he's talking about, obviously, because my shoulder's getting better just from heat. Am I not doing Bible study yet? I realized that it was 12 o'clock <clears throat> Pacific West time, which is 3 p.m. here. So uh, I'll be doing that later. Mm. Maple loves fetch. Bentley's scared of maple when it comes to fetch. She always steals it from him. Poor guy. My dad just brought me a soda water. Now I'm very happy. But I still have this one. Double whammy. Now I am trying to do my quiet time. I was very distracted for a second working on the video. Um, but I am just starting Colossians, so can't wait. Okay, so I told you guys I am starting to read Colossians today. Um, I'm going to read some of it to you because it's just really good. Um, also, don't pay attention to this picture. I know it looks like I'm 15 and have a Dreamcatcher painting. Um, I just I haven't taken it down yet because I am not actually home very much. I just am right now because I'm in quarantine. So now that I'm here, I'm noticing these things. Anyways, um, basically this is a letter to the church from Paul. And I'm just gonna read it to you. Um, the title of this section is called The Supremacy of the Son of God. So basically this is just like a very summarized version of who Jesus is and what Paul is saying is kind of like what we are called to be as Christians. So I'm just going to read it to you really fast. It says, The Son of God is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things are created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him, to reconcile to himself all things, 
whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel, this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission of God, by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles and the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one to proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this I end strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. That was Colossians 1. Um, it's just, I really love Paul. Um, I'm reading through the New Testament right now, so a lot of these books are written by Paul or about Paul. Um, and he is just like so on fire for the gospel. He will do anything to preach the gospel so that uh, Jesus will be known. So, um, yeah, it's just really cool to hear his words about who Jesus is, and he says, um, now I rejoice in what I'm suffering for you, because he's just giving his life, um, for Jesus and for the church to be reconciled and to be made new, um, just because they are not really following Jesus anymore at this point, um, in the church, and so he is just taking on full responsibility to share the gospel with them and share Jesus with them, which is uh, so cool. And so uh, what our calling is as we follow Jesus too. So love it, love Paul, love the Bible. Hello, I'm back. This is me post shower, um, getting called into work. So I have to get ready. Okay, so my makeup is done for work. Um, my hair, I actually don't usually use heat on it except that I um, usually blow dry the top of it. That way whenever it dries, it doesn't look like greasy or anything. So I usually blow dry the top. And my Christmas sweater, of course, always. And these really cool ASIC baggies that I found on Poshmark. But yeah, now I'm going to go do my Bible study with Brave Love on Zoom now because it's almost three. Hello. I just got off of work, just got home. I had to go in for a few hours to save the day um, and help close. Yeah, so I just wanted to share a little bit about the Bible study that we had today. It was amazing. Um, basically, we talked about um, the prophetic, which is one of my spiritual gifts, so it was really, really good and really um, cool to hear uh, Shannon Castile talk about it. The biggest thing that I learned, basically, is you don't have to have a prophetic word to pray for someone for healing. You don't have to have a prophetic word to talk to someone you don't know or to tell somebody your, their original design that God says about them um, and to just not be afraid to just share and be like Jesus. Um, the only prophetic thing that we really need is the Bible and so 
the Bible is alive, which is really cool. We were, uh, Shannon was talking about how she can read a story in the Bible and then she could read it again the next year and get something totally different each time because the Bible is alive and it's so relevant to today. You don't have to have the gift of prophecy to have the character of Jesus. You don't have to be prophetic to have the character of Jesus um, and share that with people. So that was really cool. Um, I loved it. I highly recommend you guys to join and just really see what it looks like to really follow Jesus. Anyways, it was so good. Can't wait to join the Zoom call next week for Bible study. Um, because I had to go into work, I didn't get to exercise earlier. So we'll be getting hopefully my 8,000 steps in and my CrossFit workout in before the sun goes down, hopefully. Uh, if not, I'll just be walking around my house for a little bit to get my steps in because it's important. Okay, it's family walk time. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> say hi. This is my brother, Patrick. What's up? He's 20. He's cute. <laughs> He's single. You gotta bundle up on these walks. It's pretty cold out here. You feel me, Patrick? <laughs> Pretty, isn't it, Patrick? What's your thoughts on the sunset? Cotton candy. Yes, cotton candy. This is my uncle sleeping beside his car, probably so his tires don't get dirty. You know, it's a car. What are you doing over there? Why are you sweeping the outside? <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Good. We're having a spitting contest. Patrick thinks he can spit rather than me. It's not true. Go, go. Dad, it landed right here. Here. Alright, you know I moved. God. I have no idea. I kind of splattered. It splattered. Please try. I can't do it. Oh, there, there's a spot. It's right here. Let's see it. Right here. They're not, they're not gonna be able to tell. This one's Patrick's. Mine. How's that? I won. I'm back. I uh, got my steps in for the day. Did not get my workout in, which is okay. Not really worried about it. Um I'm about to take my makeup off, my contacts out, and then I'm going to go watch um this new series called The Chosen, which is about Jesus and his life. Um, I only watched half of an episode last night and it's already so good. It makes it real for you to see these stories that we read about, like actually add, uh, act it out in front of you. Um, it just makes it so much more real, so much more comprehensible. So uh, if you have a hard time understanding stories in the Bible, I highly recommend watching this series is called The Chosen and it's on their website so just google The Chosen and it will come up. Watch the episodes and really get a good understanding of Jesus and his life. Highly recommend it. Again I'm taking my makeup off with the Norwex gloss that I used earlier this morning. So I just want to show you how it actually gets my makeup off. Like all of it. That was my issue for a long time was I couldn't find any uh, makeup wipes or um, soap that would actually like get off all my mascara which is so annoying to me so here it is hold on I'll show you left side of my face is off right side left side no mascara left okay one last thing i really want something sweet but not very unhealthy so i'm going to make an acai bowl how i will show you 
Pow. TSC granola acai powder. First of all, first, one more. Second, unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Third, acai powder. One, two tablespoons. Chia seeds. Two tablespoons, probably. They're good for you. One banana. I usually put a few strawberries and some ice. And then you blend it. Now you pour it into a bowl. There it is. So now I'm going to have this acai bowl and drink some more water. And I'm going to watch um, The Chosen. If that was my day, thank you for watching. If you watched this whole thing, you're a real one. So thanks for watching. I promise the next videos will be shorter, but that is just a little um, sneak peek of how my days go. So yeah, I can't wait to share more with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, see you later.